Hey everyone, this is Travis with Diesel Laptops, and today we're looking at a John Deere skid steer using the Texas Off Highway software. I'm just going through this right now. I'm going ahead and get this connected. I'm just going to choose our model, so we'll just scroll down here, find the skid steer category, click it. We're going to go ahead and click Diesel Injection here, which we've got multiple modules you can connect to on these machines. You can click the film strip. This will just give us a little location of our connector and what the connector looks like for this machine. I'll hit play here so you guys can see. And once that's finished, we'll click this next button and go ahead and get us connected here. Okay. Right now, this is a Bluetooth adapter, so it's just trying to find that adapter. Once it does, it'll ask us to cut the ignition on. We confirm guys can hear it's already running. Um, it does take just a few seconds here to connect. Alright, once you're connected, you need to get your fault codes first. Now these are all inactive, but you can click these. We've actually got some freeze frame data on your code, depending on the code, it depends on how much information with it in this case, just frequency and the hours of the first time it happened. Okay. If you double click the code, you actually get the P code, the SPN, and the FMI. And you can take that and plug that into DTC off highway. And this will actually give you some information on the code. And when you scroll down here, you actually get your possible causes as well, so you know where to go and check. Minimize this. Confirm here. We'll go up to our live data. That's going to be all under the parameters tab. You see here, it loads up fairly quickly. We'll scroll through the list and let you guys take a look. There are 123 different parameters here. And as you make your way down towards the bottom, we'll get into some of the different statuses of this switching. So, we'll go ahead and scroll down. There are your statuses. You've also, Got under PC info. Let's go back to live data. I do want to show you the dashboard feature. We have a couple dashboards here that show the systems in a pictorial view. These are you know, extremely helpful there to look at those parameters and kind of visualize the system. Under ECU info, you can see here this is 14B98. So this is the Yanmar engine. You can get your new game part numbers and other things in there. Under your activations, we can all of your tests. We'll go ahead and run an injector test just so you guys can hear the cylinders coming out. Close that out. Confirm. We'll have to enter the date, which is in European time. Confirm one more time. Okay, and with these, you'll actually be clicking to choose your cylinder. Make sure left to right instead of up and down like it's doing there. So we'll cut the cylinder out real quick and hit confirm. You can hear that cylinder drop out back online. Let's do, we'll do one more. We'll do cylinder three. Confirm one more time. And then we'll come back to the main screen and we'll go into settings. So you can go in here, you can tell it that you have clean that DPF. We've got a couple other settings in here, injector coding, uh, which we'll get into here in a little bit. But I'll show you guys that it can force regen on this unit. So we'll confirm we've got these different warnings. We do have four types of regens. Today we're just going to start the stationary. Confirm, confirm, and we'll press confirm one more time, and this will start the process. Once it starts, you'll hear the RPMs you know, you rise, a DPF will turn red there, usually under the screen. And you've got some parameters you're going to look at, or some live data while this region is running. We'll let it go ahead and run the RPMs up for a second, and we'll cancel that back out. Cancel and that'll actually be in the next part of this video. We're going to actually get into injector coding. So, here we are, we're already still connected. Uh, we did cut the ignition. We confirm. We didn't actually swap any injectors in this one, so I'm just going to take one of the other injectors and enter into that one. We'll hit confirm again. Okay, and we're just going to, we'll do injector one. I'll just take injector number two and put in for number one. So we'll clear that out. 
go in here and enter it in this next one. So we've got seven, one, Okay, we'll hit confirm at that point. Let's go back to the main screen here to tell this other one. Confirm. It's going to tell us to wait. And then it'll ask us to cut the key off. So we'll cut this key off. And we'll hit confirm. We will have to wait two minutes here. We will need to cut the key back on. All right, so we'll just hit confirm again. Key to stop, turn it on. Okay, that brings us back connected. Let's go in here, let's show you that that has changed that objective code. Okay. And you can now see number two actually matches cylinder one. All right, so it's as simple as that. Um, the software does really well on this machine, guys. Thanks for watching.